What's going on everyone? This is Cadman Cycling. Welcome in. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for being here. Today we're racing stage four of the Race Like a Champ series. Stage four is actually split into two different parts. So this is stage 4A and then we'll be doing stage 4B in a little bit. It's set up pretty interesting. It's like you start with 4A. Uh, this is the 510 time slot. It's a short race. And then stage 4B starts just 20 minutes after this one starts. So back-to-back -back short races. This one's on the Queens Highway. So it's a Category C race, Queens Highway. Good turnout. We have about 60 riders today. Uh, the Queens Highway is in Yorkshire. It's actually the backwards version of the Dutchy Estate route. So it's got a decent amount of climbing for its short length. I think each lap is about five kilometers long uh, so this race is just one lap but it turns into 5.8 kilometers because the lead-in is the majority of a lap as well so kind of an interesting situation for me obviously with the the short um, race itself I, I know it's gonna be fast from the start so made sure to put down the power and jump in with this front group I was about to say though, interesting situation uh, for me, just because I haven't done this course before. I know it's a it's a really short one, but didn't have a chance to recon, didn't really look into it much before. Um, not an excuse, but just I thought I'd done most of the shorter routes on Zwift, and turns out I haven't. So this is my first time around. It's actually kind of nice that the lead-in goes through a decent portion of the course. It gives me a chance to try to notice some of my surroundings, maybe some of the areas where moves can be made on the last lap and exactly where the hills and where the elevation gain comes in. I know there's a slight climb to the finish that will become pretty important at the end of this race. So like I said, category C, uh, no other categories are visible, which is nice. That means this is a, it's a category enforcement ride and the C's will be setting the pace. So. Just gonna do everything I can to stay with the front group and sit in, save as much energy as possible. My heart rate's already pretty high, getting above 180 now. Um, power output has been high, of course. Such a short race, that's just how it's gonna be. It's, it's gonna be like this for the entire race, but the full race is gonna be less than 10 minutes. So yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and just show the entire race today, like I said, because it is pretty short. Uh, I'll talk through the strategy along the way. This is the biggest ride I've been in in a while, biggest race, so decent sized front group we have here as we're hitting, looks like the first climb and it's kind of towards the end of the lap. So again, just keeping this in mind for the last lap when everyone's starting their sprints, starting to think through sprint timing. So yeah, trying to stay in the middle of this group as much as possible. Uh, to be honest, that's one thing that I didn't do extremely well in this race. I'm sure you've seen it a little bit early on in the first couple of kilometers, but it'll persist throughout the race is just kind of my lack of efficiency. I think a part of that is just due to it being a, a shorter race, the power is higher. So the higher the power, um, it's not as much of a, a moderated effort. I think my power is spiking a little bit too much. Uh, RPMs might be a little too high. Sometimes it's easier for me to keep more consistent power if I have lower RPMs and I'm really working the legs more. So I find myself here, not off the front, but again, don't really want to be this close to the front. Uh, I'll always be getting better draft if I'm, if I'm more in the center of the group. I don't want to be going back and forth between front to back to front to back. Um, I really want to be sitting in the middle of the group as much as possible. So coming here to the end of this, it's the end of the lap, but in this case, the end of the lead in. So I, I've seen it once now. There was kind of a, a gradual uphill, a slight downhill to an uphill finish. Uh, so again, just trying to keep that in the back of my mind. Again, not the easiest thing to do when my heart rate's at 185 and we're putting out 300 watts, but I've at least seen it once now and I know what to expect. And I have an arrow for the finish, so on an uphill it won't help quite as much, but still always a good power up to deploy uh, whenever you can at the finish. 
again, a, just a little bit further than I want to be here. So really, it, uh, like I said, name of the game today uh, is efficiency. So want to be as efficient as possible. Um, just because it's such a short race, riders will, I think, have more left for the sprint. I'm expecting to see higher watts. It's a large front group, so 60 in the race. Looks like we still have probably 25 or 30 here in the front group, so almost half the riders are still in this front group. Uh, that'll really bring an interesting dynamic as I'm taking advantage of this downhill, downhill section here to actually super tuck. Looks like not a lot of other riders did, but any chance to kind of lower the heart rate when I can, I'll, I'll use that super tuck. I was able to sit in the middle of the group there, benefit from some draft, and get my heart rate down a little bit. It was getting up 185 and a little bit higher, down to 181, so especially with just one mile left now, anything, anything helps. That was kind of the last downhill section. I know the last mile to kilometer is, is mostly uphill. So sitting at the 4.1 kilometer mark, 50 meter mark, uh, I think I was just saying with this large front group, everyone will have their own kind of sprint strategy. So the bigger the, the front group, the more variability there will be. And oftentimes I see that means that people are sprinting earlier. If it's just a group of five, um, it's much more reactionary. And my strategy for those smaller groups is kind of wait for someone to make the first move and then see if I can outpower them to the finish. Um, that can't really be done here. So. If I'm, if I'm reactionary, a lot of times maybe I'll be in the, the middle to the back of the group, see someone start to go off the front, and just due to the size of the group, uh, it'll be too late. So the size of the group really does change the sprint strategy. And the other piece is the, the uphill finish. So because it's an uphill finish, you can't really start, you can't rely as much on your normal um, start your sprint at 250 meters or 300 meters or 200 meters, whatever you usually do. Um, just because the timing will be thrown off, it obviously takes longer to go uphill. So those are all kind of in the back of my mind. Again, I'm trying, trying my best to keep those in the back of my mind as my heart rate's increasing, getting close to 190 beats per minute here, still maintaining around 300 watts. Um, really starting to feel it in the legs here. So honestly, the, the heart rate wasn't bothering me too much. Uh, was feeling the burn in the legs. Half a kilometer left. Still going up this gradual uphill. Starts to get a little bit strung out. This is when I start thinking that I want to be near the front of the group. Again, not pushing wind, but making sure that I can react to any moves being made. So currently I'm actually pretty happy with my positioning here. Uh, Staying near the front, go ahead and deploy my arrow at about 280 meters, uh, keep the power relatively steady, and then push it. I actually start my sprint from the front of the group, basically give it everything I have up this 6% climb, still in first, and get past with about 80 meters left. Uh, my arrow ran out, a few other riders passed me, and end in sixth place. So I was actually the first to go there. Uh, at about, I think it was 250 meters, I believe. Uh, just finished, got the route badge. Um, but yeah, a little bit different than the way I usually race. I'm usually more reactionary. Uh, there I went first. Definitely used my arrow a little bit too early. Didn't quite have enough power in the legs to, to stay in front, but I gave myself a chance. Uh, overall, pretty happy with the race. Just can work on efficiency for sure. I'm sure you can see the 3.7 watts per kg uh, definitely higher than the other riders around me. So really lost that race, not because of my sprint. Um, again, my tactics could have been better, but really because of the efficiency. So something I'll work on, uh, as you can see, got just over 10 minutes left before it's time for stage 4B. So guys, thanks for joining. This was a, a really fun short race. Hope you enjoyed watching it and can't wait for the next one. So guys, until next time, this is Cadman Cycling. I'll catch you then. Bye.